I'm going to show you a better way to train scent work. My young female Doberman, after only two lessons, entered her first scent work trial. I only entered her in three classes and she qualified in all three classes. A nine month old Norwegian elk hound puppy in my class entered his first trial. He entered eight searches and qualified in seven out of the eight searches. So the nice thing about this method of teaching scent work is that it builds the comprehension very quickly. It also builds motivation. So the first step is introduction to odor. I have a scented swab with birch oil in this floral tube. It has a small hole on the top. I'm going to offer it to my dog. I want him to touch it with his nose. Yes. And then I'm going to feed him right on top of the floral tube where he has access to odor. Yes. Yes. When he touches it, I'm going to say yes. Yes. This is his first, yes, introduction to odor. Yes. Now he's done nose touch. Yes. At other times. Yes. But this is his first introduction to odor. Good boy. So now that he's doing it consistently, I'm going to give him a verbal cue. And the verbal cue is going to be find it. That will be the same word that I use when we're entering the search area. Find it. Yes. Find it. Yes. Find it. Yes. Find it. Yes. Oopsie. Find it. Yes. Find it. Yes. Find it, yes. Find it, yes. So now troubleshooting. If your dog is hesitant to touch the floral tube, probably what's happening, instead of you feeding right on the floral tube, what you're doing is offering with one hand but feeding over here. So you're rewarding away from the odor and your dog has no motivation to touch the odor. So again, we're going to reward when the dog touches his nose to the floral tube and i'm going to reward right on the floral tube find it yes oopsie unless it drops find it yes find it yes find it yes all right he's pretty consistently getting the birch now i'm going to go ahead and switch to anise i'm going to right away start with two odor i always train for more than what i want to trial for. So if you train for two odor and you can consistently search for more than one hide, then the dog searching for one odor and one hide in a trial is not going to be too stressful. Find it? Yes. So this is anise? Yes. Find it? 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 Yes. All right. Good boy. So we just introduced him to odor. He learned that it's very rewarding to touch his nose to odor. And now we'll go on to step two. without odor between the boxes with odor then he's going to get discouraged because this is too early in the game he doesn't know what he's doing yet so i'm just going to walk past the boxes i'm going to have treats ready to go i'll walk past the boxes and if he does it already yes so he put his head down i'm going to first feed him inside the box and then pick up the odor yes and feed him again good boy Okay, now we're going to go on to the next one. Let's see. Odor. No odor. Is odor in this one? Right here. Yes. Good boy. So feed him in the 
box and then feed him on the odor. So these boxes are trapping the odor. It's coming out of the floral tube. And it's just, yes, filling up the box with odor and it could be a very strong hit for him. Yes. Yes, good boy. Good boy. So he got a little bit distracted there. We're at a park and somebody came with a dog. Good boy. Find it. Yes. Good job. Okay, now we're going to go back the next direction. Ready? Find it. Yes. Good boy. Nice. Yes. Find it. Yes. Good job. Find it. Yes, good boy, and that was perfect. He didn't show much indication, find it, with the boxes that didn't have odor, and then he rushed to the box with the good boy. Find it. Yes, good boy. So he's not giving me any alert behavior, but he's definitely gravitating. Yes, good boy. He got too fast for me. He passed up the box with odor, so I brought him back. So that definitely teaches him mistakes. Teach him what's not not only what was right, but what was wrong. Yes, good boy. Right here, find it. Look. Yes. Good. Yes, nice job. Good. Find it. Yes, good boy. He found that one on his own. That was pretty obvious. Step three is going to be much more difficult than step two, although you can do all three steps in the first lesson. So with step two, the odor was concentrated in the box. Step three, is an exterior search it's not as concentrated and so the dog has to be paying a little bit more attention but i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to lead him up to the odor and i'm going to feed him right on the odor belt <laughs> Yes, he knows there's something here. Good boy. He doesn't, again, he doesn't know how to pinpoint it, but he sure knows there's odor there. Good boy. Nice. Yes, let's find another one close by. Find it. Yes. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, we got one more. Find it. Yes, he went right to it. Good.
As you saw the last couple hides, Lucky was able to pinpoint. He actually tried to poke it with his nose because that's what I told, taught him was a desired behavior when I was holding it in my hand for him to poke. So he had, what, a, maybe a total of five to eight, nine minutes of lesson and he's already comprehending that he needs to touch his nose to the odor.